Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GoDynamic IT. As you know, Geo Fiber has become a very popular fiber broadband service provider in India with 10.63 million wired broadband subscribers, making it the largest wired broadband service provider in the country. In today's video, I am going to show you an easy process to change your Geo router Wi-Fi name and password. Additionally, I will guide you how to add up to six SSIDs, I mean Wi-Fi names, to your Geo router if you watch my video till the ends. So let's start our video. So for that, first we have to check the IP address of the, our the router. So how do we check that? So we have to go to the command prompt and type the CMD. And after t c typing CMD, this uh, command prompt will open. And then we have to do IP config. Okay, I'm connected to my router through Wi-Fi. And the IP address of my PC is 29.2211. And you can see the default gateway is 29.1. So most of the cases, the 29.1 is will be always be your gateway routers. And in Geo Broadband also, it's 29.1. So let's bring our browser here and try to open this 29.1. So let's open this 192.168.29.1. And it's again asking for the username and password. So this username, actually the default username and password is admin and geocentrum. But sometimes what happens is like while installation, your uh, installation, geo installation guys, they change the password. So whenever you have a new installation, you check with the password with them or you can call the customer care center. They will provide you this username and password. So this password I have uh, during the installation, I took it from my installation guy. So let's log into the router here. Okay, I have logged into the router. So you can see here, this is the home page of the router. To change our SSID name, and uh, the password we have to go to network and the network you can see here this is the wireless and this wireless you can see here i have a two name here uh, element 2g and element 5g two and my requirement as of now is to change the name of this element 2g and element 5g because this is the one this uh, uh, the installation guys have updated it so what i have to do is i have i can right click on this and click on the edit and it will ask you that existing uh, wireless client will be disconnected. That's fine. Without pain, no gain, right? So you can see here, you can say the SSID name here. I want to give this name as a home a home internet. So this this 2.4 gigahertz will be uh, my home and name will be home internet. And password I would like to change here is, okay, and password here is, I want to change is here and click on the save here. Okay, it's asking about the confirm password. So we have to put the confirm password also and click on the save. So now what, what is happened is, uh, again, you have seen that it was the LMN 2.4 gigahertz and this will change to the home internet. Uh, this is for, uh, I have given a home internet reason being is all my mobile phones or my TVs uh, 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 and uh, any and entertainment devices will be connected to this connected to this 2.4 gigahertz and i connect my 5 gigahertz to my all my production pc like my desktops my laptops and wherever i work like all these production devices are on my 5 gigahertz so that i can get the more bandwidth on it this is my strategy i use it at my home so you can see here i'm changing this uh, line from home internet and it says that this has uh, changed now you can see here this is now home internet and now there is one more called lmn 5g i want to change his, this one also this is this is this was the 2.4 gigahertz and this is the 5 gigahertz so let's click on the edit and okay and here it says that uh, lmn 5g so i give normally i give that as a home LAN. So home LAN is my 5 gigahertz connectivity and this is all as I said that this is this this I use only on my desktop and laptops on my production devices where I use more of my productive time productive time. So now let's change the password on here also and click on the same. So oh sorry we have to change we have to put the confirm password also. So once you put this password here your uh, you will be disconnected from the Wi-Fi. For example, whatever name, ABCD name you have and you are trying to change it to, to some other name, right? And when you change it, when you try to change it and save the configuration, you will lose the Wi-Fi connection. Don't worry about that. Once you lost the connectivity, you have to go back to your uh, Wi-Fi again and search for the name. It will show you. It will uh, it will take some time, like few seconds. Okay. It will take a few seconds to show you the new name on your, uh, on your PC. So if we can show it to you. 
you can give your new password to your PC okay so now you can see here I am connected to homeland and once you are connected to homeland okay now you can see that I have connect I am connected to homeland and once you are connected back to homeland you have to so you will be disconnected from the internet uh, uh, from the router right so you have to re-log it in so we have to refresh the browser and after refreshing the browser again you have to uh, log in with your username and password now we have covered the uh, changing this SSID and the password now I'm going to show you how you can enable up to six SSIDs name so why you need to enable six SSID name right that's the question comes in your mind so imagine that you have a office and um, in the office you have a multiple department multiple department want their own uh, SSID names right that could be like marketing sales or any ABC names you have HR so what you can do is you can uh, you can enable this for example you can see here in this uh, geo SSID we have a six seven names here so when I filter with okay let's see with it with uh, this one name you can see here we have a AP1 AP2 AP3 AP4 AP6 and AP7 so we have a six here name here and up to three you can see here from one to three these are all 2.4 gigahertz and from four to seven this is all the five gigahertz this is 2.4 so so you can technically you can enable the three SSID in 2.4 gigahertz and three SSID in 5 gigahertz name here right so how do you do that so first you can see here these all are disabled you can see notice here these are so first we have to enable it how do you enable it you have to right click on it so when you right click on it hang on a second so when you can right click on it and you have to enable it you can see here this is you have to enable so this is how you have to enable all of this so let me enable one of this so run you right click in this enable and it says existing client we disconnected that's fine so I'm enabling the geo 2 here it's taking some time to enable the services that's absolutely fine okay so now you can see um, this connection is back you can see um, after refresh it's back and then this uh, this is has been enabled now you can see geo 2 is enabled now and if you want to change the name of the geo 2 you have to go to the profile you have to go to the profile and then in the profile you have a geo 2 here this is enable right click on it edit and you can see the name here so you can give this name for like a staff right a staff 01 a staff 02 or whatever you can you can see here maybe uh, if your uh, kids are home so you can see kids and just save the pa and add the password here and just save it from the password so you can see here uh, I enable this one more service 2.4 gigahertz service and then I'm given this as a Wi-Fi name as a kids here and it's saving the password. so this is how you can enable all your another like another four uh, SSID Wi-Fi names into uh, into the different turn into the different names here right so let's wait it comes up uh, comes up so whenever you try to add any uh, SSID your Wi-Fi uh, will be disconnected from your uh, uh, Wi-Fi will be disconnected for a while and then it will come back so you have to uh, have you have to keep the patience until you uh, know this uh, Wi-Fi will turn up so it's loading as of now so just wait you can see here now you can see geo 2 and the kids has been enabled and when you check in check this into your PC or mobile phone you can see this uh, kids will be name will be showing so that's it for uh, today's video we have covered like changing our uh, SSID name changing the password and enabling the another six uh, SSID name or Wi-Fi name on our geo router if you have any questions query related to this video please put me in the comment box and the next video I'll show you how you can change the same thing through your mobile phone so that's it for today's video see you in the next one